The Houses October Built is a 2014 horror film about a group of friends traveling across some part of America. I can't quite remember what part. Um, might just be one state. Um, but they're traveling across that state to find the most intense haunted house experiences that they can. And in their words, they're traveling through the backwoods. So they want sort of to find the weird, um, really intense, really brutal experiences. And of course, this is a horror film, aside from even the haunted houses. So they're going to get more than they bargained for and they're going to get themselves in a spot of bother. And they do. And what do I have to say about this film? I had heard a lot about it. Um, it's, it's kind of actually a cult classic as far as I can tell. Um, so I've been hearing about it for forever. Um, for me, I don't know if that's partly why like it didn't live up to the hype, but I just wasn't into this one. Um, I, as, okay, so some positives for me. I really, it was fun to like watch the haunted houses. I'm really scared of haunted houses. So for me, I don't do them in real life. Um, so, I, I don't have much experience of what they're actually like so watching them go through that was pretty fun and for me that's quite scary that there's something about the real life actors that really freaks me out whereas horror films generally don't scare me anymore so yeah I like that that was really cool um what else did I like I like the name this might sound stupid but um uh I haven't actually looked it up if it they got that from something. The houses October built sounds very like it sounds like a Ray Bradbury story. Um or something. Yeah, definitely sounds like a Ray Bradbury story. When I think of October I think of Ray Bradbury. Um so yeah, I I think it's such a cool name and I know it goes by a different name because when I rented it on Amazon it was under something else. It was like the houses of Halloween or something like that, which just sounds terrible. And I think probably represents this film a bit better. No offense, anyone that likes it. It's, yeah, for me, it was, it was nothing special at all. And I think I was, I think I had my hopes up a little bit for this one. I think I was, cause I was so pleasantly surprised by um, Hell House LLC. That was, that film genuinely actually creeped me out, which is rare this, these days. Um, so I, I was kind of hoping to have that same, because you know, they're similar, they're both about like haunted house. Um, and I mean, as in a haunt, you know, with actors, not a spooky haunted house. Um, and yeah, this film mm, mm, just a letdown for me. There were maybe one or two creepy scenes, aside from the jump scares, because um, those don't count as a as a creepy scene. Um, I thought the the doll lady was scary. Um, her mask was really creepy with the hair. Um, I don't like dolls, so maybe that's why that got me a bit. Um, Say I don't know. I didn't like this film. I didn't like it at all. But no spoilers. But regarding the ending, there was no explanation given. So, as to how things were happening, how they were coming across certain people. Um, no explanations given as to why this is happening and yeah I thought also the very first scene is part of the ending and I hate it when they do that like don't breathe does that as well and it's just like ugh. so then you know where the film's going the whole way through out of 10 
don't watch it like a, a three out of ten I think I, I almost give it a two I feel like that's really harsh because or is it I was just about to say some production value went into this but it didn't like it's all found footage which is we all know is cheap the cheapest form of filmmaking no offense but it is um cost wise i'm talking and other um the acting was good i will say that i think that is what saved it a bit the characters were fairly reasonably fleshed out um and the actors did a good job so i can't give it a two out of ten <laughs> i'll give it a three um I'm sorry if that's harsh. It does seem a bit harsh. I just, I wanted to like this one and I, I didn't. If anyone's been to Haunt as well, let me know how your experience was. I'm so um, intrigued by them because I'm, I'm very scared of the ones with the live actors. They freak me out. Anything like that in person is really scary to me. Um, but it's like the morbid curiosity where I really want to do it, and but it in the time that it's happening in real life, it freaks me out. So I've never actually done one. Uh, my friends did one, like out in the country here, where they chase you with chainsaws through a like a cornfield or something. Well, we don't have corn here, but something like that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm ranting. Let me know if you have any cool stories about them or if you know any in, in London because maybe one day I will go to London. Bye!